Hello everyone. Let us see what are the different component parts of this machine and function of each and every components. Every component. Here you can see this component is known as a bed. It forms the base of the machine and it has two guideways. These are the guideways. It is inner guideways and these are the outer guideways. Here on this bed on left hand side this component is known as a head stock and it is useful to provide different speed for different requirement of machining. Here these are the levers. By shifting the position of the lever we can select the required speed according to our workpiece material and depth of cut. The front part of this head stock is spindle and on the spindle this component is mounted. This component is known as a chuck. It is work holding devices. Here when I say work, it means work piece. You have to consider it as a work piece. But generally it is pronounced as a work. So it is work holding device and it is three jaw chuck. Here you can see it is three jaws. First, second and third. These are the three jaws and it is the key. By this key we can operate this chuck. We have to simply insert this key here and when we rotate this key these jaws can move inside or outside so by rotating this key we can adjust the position of these jaws now on the right hand side of this bed this component is mounted and it is known as a tail stroke it is movable component and here it is a clamping screw by fixing this position by fixing this screw we can set the position of the tail stroke here you can see it is a movable component. When I force this part on this way, it can move on this bed. So it is a movable part and according to position, according to requirement, it can be fixed on the bed base. Here it is a hand wheel and by rotating this hand wheel, we can move this spindle. This spindle has taper inside and it is a center which can be fitted inside this taper. It is the sunk portion. So we can fit this center in this way and accordingly we can set the position of this center. If length of workpiece is more then it is necessary to support the other end of the workpiece and for that purpose this center can be useful. As it is a steady center so it is known as the dead center. If it is revolving then it is known as the live center. So head stroke, tail stroke, it is a work holding device, chuck. Now you can see this assembly, it is a carriage assembly and we can provide feed motion with the help of this assembly. Cutting tool is mounted here. It is a cutting tool and it is known as a single point cutting tool. It is mounted on the tool post and we can fix its position by this clamping lever and it is the hand wheel by which we can move the carriage on this bed base. You can see this carriage is moving on the bed base. Like this we can move this carriage and uh, it is moving parallel to the axis of the machine. So this type of motion is known as a longitudinal fit. When we operate this hand wheel, the movement of this carriage is parallel to the axis of the machine. So it is known as a longitudinal fit. And if we want to give the cross fit, that is feed perpendicular to the axis of the machine, then we have to operate this hand wheel. Here this part, this part is known as apron and the casting, this is edge shape casting which is mounted on this bed base, that part is known as the saddle. So it is a saddle, this part front part is apron and this slide, here you can say it is movable slide, on this guide base it is moving. So this part is known as a cross slide and when we rotate this slide with the help of this hand wheel it is moving in a direction perpendicular to the axis of the machine. Okay? And above that this slide is mounted it is known as the compound slide and it is the hand wheel for that. When we rotate this hand wheel it can move at the required angle. Here it is the bolt by fixing this bolt we can swivel it at the required position. So whenever we require to give it angular movement to the cutting tool, we have to operate this compound slide. 
so it is the part which is useful for the taper turning okay and tool will be mounted over here it is a cutting tool it will be mounted over here and then cutting action will be taking place now let's see how this machine will be operating so it is the switch operating switch and uh, important point is that we have to always uh, be careful that whenever we look this chuck from this direction it should be rotated in an anti clockwise manner when we want to operate this machine so it is a operating switch and by operating switch we can start this machine like this so these are the different component parts and function of each and every part of this machine now we will see how we can operate this machine by actual performance so here we have mounted one job workpiece in this uh, chuck it is uh, ms mild steel material and cutting tool is already mounted here and we will operate this machine and uh, the per, uh, operation which we are going to uh, carry here that is straight turning so it is the operation to produce cylindrical surface of the workpiece let's see how it can be produced so now this chuck is rotating workpiece is also rotating with that it is cutting tool now it is in contact with the workpiece and now cutting action has started we are moving this carriage assembly with that hand wheel and now it is the operation strain turning the diameter of this workpiece is reducing we are providing here longitudinal fit this cutting tool is moving parallel to the axis of the machine first of all adjust the position of the cutting tool and then start the cut the material is removed in form of the chips you can see here it is the material which is being removed in form of the chips it are these are known as the chips so it is facing operation now let us see taper turning operation how it can be performed so it is already prepared job and uh, it is the taper part of this job taper means uniform increment or decrement in the diameter that is known as the taper so if you look at this job the diameter is increasing on this direction and if you we look this job from this direction the diameter of this job is decreasing in this direction so it is uniform increment or decrement in this length and it is known as the taper how it can be produced on lathe machine so for that 
we are using this uh, component and it is known as the compound slide on compound slide you can see this it is a base swivel base this base can be swivel according to requirement and these are the degrees so as per the requirement we have to adjust this compound slide if you want to produce 20 degree taper 25 degree taper whatever the angle we want to set that angle can be set with this compound slide and now when we operate this compound slide with this hand wheel you can see it is a hand wheel and if you want to operate this slide we have to operate this hand wheel so i am operating this hand wheel and you can see this tool is moving in this direction so it is moving at the uh, some angle with the axis so it will be producing taper okay so that is taper turning operation that can also be uh, performed on this machine and uh, you can see here it is a thread this uh, these are the thread cutting operation uh, this part is produced by the thread cutting operation and for that the component which is used is known as a lead screw it is that component which is useful for the thread cutting operation so it is v type thread set over here and the whatever pitch is given for the particular thread accordingly we have to set the lead screw rotation and it is the portion you can see here it is the diamond shape pattern and it can be produced on lathe machine by knurling operation so this operation to produce the diamond shape pattern is known as the knurling operation and it is useful to provide the effective gripping so that slippage may be avoided like uh, if you see the screw of the micrometer micrometer screw that rated screw is provided with this diamond shape pattern so whenever we operate that screw uh, it will not be slip okay so it provides very firm gripping and for that uh, this operation is performed on the lathe machine okay. so these are the different operations that we can perform 